Melissa from oh, Niagara. Okay. <laughs> we got Melissa from Niagara Falls. She wants to know what's your favorite late night meal? Um, cereal. Does that count as a meal? Cereal's the best at night, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah from London. Hey, girl. What was the transformation from making an EP to an album like? Oh, that's a really good one. Um, all of these are good, by the way. I keep saying they're good questions, but the transition, oh, the transformation from making an EP to an album was a very frustrating one at times because the the EPs that I put out um, were sort of like a giant tease and they're very like experimental too like just kind of dabbling in different genres so once I put those out and it was time to actually you know sit down and make an album I was kind of like okay well what do I do what do I even say and there's kind of there's in a way more pressure because you know I already had um sort of people kind of waiting for this album so Sometimes frustrating in figuring out, you know, what the what the sound was going to be and balancing different opinions and stuff, but also very very exciting and very rewarding once once all the songs were there and in place. And now looking back and seeing, you know, where I was a couple years ago making those EPs, and then to now, it's like the the growth is is very awesome to look back on. So. Hope that answers your question, Sarah from London. Maria from Port Allen says, Would you rather sing a duet with Justin Timberlake or play guitar with Prince? Why would you put me in that position to even answer a question like that? That's so hard. Uh, can I do both in the same song and then blow people's minds? Um, duet with Justin Timberlake. Or play guitar with Prince. Yeah, that's that's too hard. I think I would I would want to do a duet with Justin Timberlake while Prince is playing guitar. That would be cool. Boom. That's my answer. <laughs> Destiny from Dallas. I love that name. Uh, she says, "Will you be going on tour anytime soon?" And that is something that I can't give away just yet, but. I can't wait to get on the road and play these new songs for you guys and see all your faces. So yes, I will be going on tour <laughs> at some point. <laughs> uh, Avery from Baltimore, she says, or it might be a he, let me redo that one because there's guy Averys, huh? Yeah. Okay. Avery from Baltimore. Would you ever consider doing a guitar lesson video on YouTube? Wow, I've never gotten that question. Um, first of all, that's very flattering because I don't consider myself even like a guitar player. I guess I am, but I don't know what I would really teach. Um, I'm, I'm very like I play by ear, so uh, I guess I could try, but I, I would probably let you down. That's really sad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Michael from New York. About when do you think things started falling together, quote, in your career? Um, ooh, that is a really, another really good question. Uh, looking back, I think there's so many different highlights and um, you know, it wouldn't be right if there wasn't ups and downs, but I think it's hard to pinpoint one specific moment because you could even take it back to, you know, when I, when I first picked up a guitar and when I learned how to songwrite, like all of those things kind of add up or even like posting, you know, the, the first viral video that I had and then that leads to another thing. And I feel like in my own career, it's been such a gradual organic process that um, I don't think there's like a specific moment because I still have those days where it's like literally I mean once a week I feel like I'm saying like oh my gosh this is crazy like things are happening and so it's kind of it's kind of been an ongoing thing 
but um, yeah, it's really hard to pinpoint one specific moment. Uh, Kristen from Los Angeles, hey. What song do you currently have on repeat? I've been listening to this band called Hiatus Coyote, and there's a song called By Fire that I can't get enough of, and it like does things to my brain. <laughs> listen to it. Tyler from Tampa says, who do you turn to when you need life advice? Uh, go to my friends sometimes. It kind of depends what it is. Um, my friends and my parents also are very wise and I look up to them a lot. So um, yeah, friends and family for sure. I keep them really close. Is it Luis or Louis? Luis is with an E, right? Okay. And that's Reading? Oh, yes. It's spelled Reading. That, might, that could have thrown me off, you know? <laughs> Try to trick me there. Reading. <laughs> so Reading or Reading, Pennsylvania? Oh. Sorry, I thought I read it. Wait, is it Reading or well, Reading? There is a Reading, Pennsylvania. Yeah. You do two takes. You do two takes. Oh, I have to answer it. Answer the same thing twice? Okay. Can I just include that in the answer? Like, Absolutely. reading or reading? I don't want to answer it twice. Gosh. 